As you know, a short time ago, Anthony Lord and Brittany Irish were located in Holton at a relative's residence, and Lord was taken into custody without incident. Lord's currently being interviewed by state police detectives and will be transported to the Aroostook County Jail. Lord will be initially be charged with two counts of murder, and he'll likely have other charges added as the investigation is completed. Law enforcement responded to a series of incidents that began late last evening and ended with a shooting of five people and the beating of another man. Two men were shot and killed, and two other men and a woman were shot and are being treated for their injuries. The shooting took place in several towns to include Benedicta and Lee. The suspect is Anthony Lord, 35 years old, from Crystal and Sherman. He's described as 5'9", 260, blonde hair and blue eyes. The motive is still being looked into. Um, obviously there's, there's lots, of, uh, lots of work to be done. Everything that's happened, that's happened in a very short amount of time and, and we know a lot but there's a lot of questions to be answered still so that's one of them. That's, that's something we'll be looking into over the next several days. The details uh, started last night shortly after 8.30. A call came in of a barn on fire beside a residence on the Aroostook Road in Benedicta. The residence is the home of Brittany Irish and her parents. The fire marshal's office is currently in the process of evaluating that scene. Been there since last evening. Early this morning at about 4.40 a.m., a residence in Silver Ridge Township was broken into. A male at the residence was tied up and assaulted. Guns and a pickup truck were stolen from his residence. Shortly after, at about 4.50, there were several windows and a door shot out of Lord's brother's residence in Benedicta. Approximately 25 minutes after this, a call was received from the residence where the barn was burnt on the Aroostook Road in Benedicta. Law enforcement responded and found a male and female were shot inside the residence. The male was life flighted to the hospital where he later died. Lord was believed to have left the scene along with the 21-year-old female identified as Brittany Irish of Benedicta. Lord is known to Irish. At about the same time, a report was received from a man who was driving by the fire scene. He was turning around in the driveway of the fire scene when a side window of his vehicle was shot out. He was also struck with a bullet. He was struck in the shoulder and sought medical attention. While police were looking for the suspect in the stolen pickup truck, it was spotted by an East, East Millinocket police officer at approximately 5.50 this morning. When the officer tried to stop the vehicle, it fled and a high-speed pursuit started. During this pursuit, the suspect started firing out the window of his vehicle towards the police officer. Numerous shots were fired. The police officer was not hurt or struck during this. The police continued to pursue the vehicle, but lost sight of it around Route 157 in the Crystal area. While they were searching for the truck, trying to regain sight of it to find where it had gone, uh, approximately 30, uh, 30 minutes later, they received a report of a shooting at a wood lot on the Wind Road in Lee. The report was that two men were shot while working at the wood lot, and since one male has died. From the wood lot, a wood truck was reported stolen and was seen leaving the area. Lord will be making his initial court appearance at the beginning of the next week. And just want to note that he has criminal history. Um, you can tell he is a uh, registered sex offender and appears on Maine's registered sex offender website. We're still working on notifications to the next of kin. So the names of the deceased and injured will be released later on today. Police are still looking for the stolen woods truck that uh, you have the information on. It's an unloaded. 2010 purple Peterbilt truck displaying main commercial 631745 and has an orange boom on it, says McCarthy on the side. Any help the public can give us in locating that truck would be appreciated. Law enforcement wants to recognize the amount of help that the public has given during the search. We've received numerous tips and information that have been significant help. If the public has any further information, please contact the Maine State Police at 973-3700. There's still a significant amount of work to be completed in this case as the crime scenes are spread across a large geographic area. There'll be a team of officers, detectives, and evidence technicians working over the next several days to bring this case together.